Good morning. It's day three. It's my last day and I am checking out. Doesn't mean we're done yet. I feel like I should mention that it is slightly cold and slightly windy. I'm doing okay, but I just came from 40 degree weather, so for me this is just a little brisk. <laughs> you know, better to be prepared. Fairy marketplace. I'd say explore. So I mean, I'm glad I got to go to Dandelion and I got to have the hot chocolate. I got the European sipping chocolate, which dunking that in the canale, best idea ever. So thank you. I should have gotten their name to the person who suggested that at Dandelion. But my my biggest recommendation is really to actually explore. A lot of the places open at different times. So I did go to Out the Door for a bow, but the tea place had gorgeous looking bow, and if I'd waited a half hour, I could have had one of those. Though I also like that it was maker-centric. With Pike Place, the farmers and the makers are mixed in, and this is really, really maker and restaurant-centric. So if you're someone who wants to try a lot of the local bakeries and makers, they even had a gluten-free maker, they had La Cocina, which is an amazing incubator kitchen, and you don't have to go far to try them all, and I did really like that. I really should have planned better. This is a pudding store. Pudding. This is pot creme, but that's pudding. I could have had it all. So behind me is Minamoto Kichuan. This is the first place I ever blogged about. Kind of an embarrassing story. I I walked in without asking permission to photograph, and then my spouse told me to stop because I was embarrassing them. Then I spent 50 bucks. I'm handy. And that was the beginning. It's, their stuff is a little sweet for me now, but I will go in and see what we've got and ask permission first. on that mochi, eh? So, this guy is the Kinkan Daifuku, 
which is a mochi. Daifuku usually refers to a wrapped or filled mochi. And this guy has a candied kumquat. So I'm hoping for sweet, tart, soft, chewy, maybe a bit of stringiness from the kumquat. Not a bad one, just like that candied pate de fruit or candied fruit, like marmalade. So Minamotsuku Chuan is a chain out of Japan, in case the name wasn't helpful. And I was just excited about these guys because they have the shorter shelf life. In fact, I have to eat this guy today. Darn. But let's, let's try it. Cheers. I didn't reach the kumquat yet. This tastes like white bean inside and it's very soft. It's like a little bit of grit. Kind of reminds me of eating dirt in a good way, or like like this bit of persimmon. Let's try just the mochi by itself. So this isn't super duper soft mochi. If we're gonna be truthful, but I mean it expires today. It's got a bit more of a hard chew than the soft chew you get, like that melting chew of super duper soft mochi. But it's good. So yes, yes. We have a whole candied kumquat in here and it is tart. I love that sweet tart contrast. It does taste like eating, like if you had orange jets or just straight up marmalade, a tart. It's very lovely. I wasn't gonna get anything, and then I walk into Wise Sons. It's a rainbow cookie. It's a rainbow sprinkled cookie. And I asked the person at the front, and they said it's crunchy. Oh, okay. Okay, this looks right. Am I just gonna cry on camera? Is that gonna be my future of vlogging, crying on camera? Let's try it. Let's try it. This is the closest I've gotten to a cookie I haven't had since I was 10. So it's not the greatest cookie known to man. It's, you probably won't react at all from this. Cause you know, it's just, it's the end of the day. It's, it's a crunchy sugar cookie. It's got a little bit of almond flavor, a little bit of vanilla. It's not really complex. There's nothing going on here. It's just that it's, I've been looking for this cookie for about 10 years. And now it's here and I don't know what to do. So what I didn't manage to say at Wise Sons was why I was so excited about this particular cookie. Back in the day in Bellevue, there used to be a Jewish deli and there was a rainbow cookie and I got it every single time I went there with my grandfather. So basically the memories hit hard and it was still a good cookie. So I just got through security and did my favorite part of going through SFO, that is raiding Napa Farms Market. If you guys haven't been there before, I've seen chocolate stores with less stuff. Got cookie, this is from Salty Sweet, this is the Caramel Crunch Cookie. We should try this guy. It smells kind of coconut. Super chewy, super caramel, almost molasses-y cookie with a nice hit of salt. 
I feel like the flavor profile is slightly more butterscotch than toffee, but tasty. I would love it with a glass of milk though, because it is very, very sweet. Because the salt is only like one line across cookie and it needs that salt to really bring out the contrast of the toffee. And that's it. I'm heading home. I should again say thank you to Alaska for the free ticket, and which was quite awesome of them. And I'm glad to be going home. I admit that I am quite tired, so I'll try and do a wrap up tomorrow when I get back. I've got a late flight.